Biological classification. Biological classification is the classification of organisms on the basis of their morphological, physiological and some other relationships. Classification is required for the systematic study of organism on the basis of their similarities and dissimilarities. The first system of classification was given by Aristotle who divided the living world into plants and animals. Two kingdom system of classification. This is the oldest system of classification which was given by Carolus Linnaeus in 1758. According to him, the living world was divided into two major categories of kingdoms. Animal kingdom, which include all the animals. Plant kingdom, which include all the plants. According to Carolus, plant kingdom includes bacteria, fungi, algae, liverworts, mosses, lichens, ferns, conifers and all flowering plants. Kingdom Animalia. It includes protozoans, sponges, jellyfish, worms, insects, sharks and bony fishes. It also includes amphibians, reptiles, aves and mammals. Five Kingdom System of Classification. It was proposed by an American ecologist Robert H. Whittaker in 1969. Whittaker divided the living world into five kingdoms, Monera, Protista, Fungi, Animalia and Plantae. Five kingdom system of classification was done on the following criteria. Structure of cells, it includes prokaryotic organisms and eukaryotic organisms. Organization of cells, it includes unicellular and multicellular. Mode of nutrition, it includes autotroph and chemosynthetic, photosynthetic, Second, heterotrophic mode of nutrition, which includes holozoic, means ingestive saprophytic, means absorptive, phylogenetic relationship. From the study of the fossils, mode of reproduction in animals is asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. First kingdom, Monera. Monera is also known as prokaryote as it contains all prokaryotes. The word prokaryote means before a nucleus means this organism does not have true nucleus. As no nuclear membrane is present in the nucleus and lack of the basic proteins in the nucleoplasm. Kingdom Monera include all bacteria, cyanobacteria, blue green bacteria, archibacteria and mycoplasma. Now what is bacteria? Bacteria are the main members of the Kingdom Monera. They are unicellular microscopic organisms with the DNA referred as nucleoid. They were discovered by Dutch naturalist Anton von Leeuwenhoek. Bacteria are ubiquitous, means very minute, 1 micro mu to 10 mu in length and found in different shapes. Some bacteria are known as pleomorphic as they have ability to change their body shapes. According to the shape of bacteria, they can be grouped under four categories. First, coccus means spherical, ellipsoidal or avoid in shape, bacillus means straight, rod shaped or cylindrical. Third, spiralum means spiral or coiled like a corkscrew. Fourth, vibrio means C shape, rod shaped with a slight curve or just like comma shape. On the basis of nutrition, bacteria can be classified as autotrophic. They can prepare their own food. Heterotrophs means depend on other for their food. Saprophytes feed on dead and decaying organisms. Parasitic live on other host cells, symbiotic, mutual relationship with other organisms. Archaebacteria. Archaebacteria are believed to be very early forms of life, hence has the name Archaebacteria, means oldest of living fossils. Due to absence of peptidoglycan in their cell wall and they can live in extreme conditions of environment, so they can be grouped together under the following categories. Helophiles means salty area, thermoacidophiles, hot springs, methanogens, marshy areas. They help in production of biogas. When mixed with waste of animals like cow and buffalo dung, some examples of archaebacteria have cell wall in their cells, while some examples don't have cell wall. In some forms, cell wall is made up of non cellulosic polysaccharides, while in some it is made from proteins. Helophiles. 
these are occurring extreme salty conditions and aerobically living some forms can survive in extreme high temperatures even at conditions at the great depth under the earth some example of helophiles are helococcus and helobacterium methanogens archibacteria these are anaerobic chemosynthetic and symbiotic in nature they help in decomposition of cellulose means organic matter and produce methane thermoacidophiles these archibacteria can live aerobically as well as in air aerobically both they used to live in hot and acidic water therefore has the name thermoacidophiles u bacteria u bacterians are characterized by the presence of rigid cell wall on the basis of nutrition u bacteria can be classified as first photosynthetic autotrophs second chemosynthetic autotrophs means they help in recycling of the nutrients in environment like nitrogen phosphorus iron and sulfur and helps in oxidation of the various inorganic substances like nitrate nitrite and ammonia and use the released energy for atp production third heterotrophic bacteria some of them are also under the category of decomposers some heterotrophic bacteria help in production of curd antibiotics and fixing the nitrogen in leguminous plants some u bacteria are pathogens causes diseases in animals plants and in humans now reproduction in bacteria bacteria can reproduce differently according to the different climatic condition like in favorable condition they reproduce by fission like binary fission mainly during unfavorable conditions they reproduce by spores and sometimes reproduce by adopting a primitive type of dna transfer from one bacteria to another which is also known as sexual reproduction mycoplasma mycoplasmas are minute means smallest free living microbes unicellular non motile and pleomorphic means found in many forms prokaryotes also known as pplo that is pleuro pneumonia like organisms pplo can live and aerobically they can be pathogen or parasitic in nature their cell membrane is made up of proteins and lipids and resistant to antibiotics such as penicillin they are saprotrophs that is found in the sewage water and in dead and decaying organic matter they can be anaerobic or aerobic some forms of mycoplasms cause diseases in plant animals and in the human beings hence pathogenic in nature while some forms are parasitic in nature second kingdom protista protista are water dwelling organism they live in water bodies like seas oceans etc some of the protistans are found in the surface of the water as plankton some of the other protistans are found in the bodies of organisms as parasites protista are single celled means unicellular eukaryotic microorganisms and known as an ancestor of multicellular eukaryotic organisms protistans can be known as photosynthetic protistans or the plants therefore they can be called as a connecting link between the prokaryotic kingdom monera and the complex multicellular kingdoms of fungi plants and animals protist have the typical eukaryotic cell structure their protoplasm is surrounded or covered by plasma membrane some photosynthetic protesting showing helophytic nutrition have distinct cell wall made up of cellulose locomotory structures in protist are pseudopodia like amoeba flagella lishmania then gymnodenium or the cilia like paramecium the photosynthetic protist are present on the surface of water bodies and known as phytoplankton they are the major supporter for the balance of ecosystem as they fix maximum amount of co2 in the biosphere protist reproduce by asexual and sexual means of reproduction 
asexual reproduction in protest. Asexual reproduction occurs in favorable environmental conditions. The various type of asexual reproduction are as follows. Fission. It is a division of a parent cell into the number of offsprings. It can be first binary fission. It can be longitudinal for example, Lishmania, transverse for example, paramecium or axial for example, amoeba. Second, multiple fission for example, plasmodium. Third, budding. Exogenous budding occur to the parent body which detaches and develop into a new individual. Third, spore formation. Protists reproduce by spore formation which forms in sporangia which can be stalked or sessile spores expelled out from the sporangia and on germination give rise to an individual. Protests include chrysophytes means producers on the form of phytoplankton, dinoflagellates, euglenoids, slime molds, consumers and decomposers and protozoan. Chrysophytes. Chrysophytes are unicellular, microscopic of the various colors due to the presence of the various chromatophores. They are photosynthetic protests. They occur in fresh and marine water at the surface like plankton, at the bottom like benthos and some grow in the moist soil. Basically they include diatoms and desmids means golden algae. The cell wall of diatoms is composed of cellulose in the form of two overlapping halves which are also known as theca which fit together like two parts of the soap boxes. These two overlapping halves are embedded with a mineral silica which make diatoms indestructible means they do not decay easily. So, they can be collected over millions of years as sedimentary deposits on the sea floors called diatomite or diatomaceous earth. This is economically very useful in industries mainly in filtration of sugars, oils, alcohol and antibiotic. A prominent nucleus is present in chrysophyte with a large central vacuole. The cells are deployed in nature. Reproduction takes place either asexually or sexually. Asexual reproduction takes place by the common method of binary fission and sexual reproduction by the fusion of gametes which after fusion forms zygote. Dinoflagellates. These organisms are unicellular, photosynthetic and mostly marine in nature. They are of different colors due to the different pigments present in their cell. They show an armored structure due to the hexagonal platelets present on the cell surface which is mainly made up of cellulose. Dinoflagellates may be motile or non-motile. If motile then locomotion is due to the presence of flagella which are two in number. One is longitudinal and one is latitudinal. Due to the presence these forms show spinning movement. The cells of dinoflagellates have proper nucleus and other organelles too. Dinoflagellates reproduces asexually as well as sexual both. Asexual reproduction takes place by spore formation, sometimes in some forms cyst formation while in others it may be form cell division. If sexual reproduction it can be occur through gametes which can be of the same type isogamete or of the different types like anisogametes. Conjugation takes place where the two gametes fuse together to form a diploid zygote. Some examples of dinoflagellates like Gonilolex reproduces so fastly that they make the surface of the sea red and so called red tide. Some forms of dinoflagellates releases toxins when reproduces abnormally. This toxin is poisonous. They may destroy or kill large number of the marine animals. Euglenoids. Euglenoids are euglena like animals which are the connecting link between plants and animals. They are microscopic, unicellular, photosynthetic organisms. They are either flagellate or non-flagellate. Euglenoids do not possess cellulose in their cell wall. Instead they are covered with pellicle which is made up of protein with little amount of carbohydrates and lipids. Some examples show fixed body shape while some can change the shape of their body. Some forms contain chlorophyll and they show photosynthesis and act as autotrophs when in sunlight but in the absence of sunlight they behave as heterotrophs and feed on other smaller organisms. 
Some forms of euglenoids are parasitic or holozoic. They reproduce asexually by longitudinal binary fission during the unfavorable conditions. They form cyst to protect themselves from desiccation. Locomotion in euglenoid is by flagella. If flagellate, then they possess two flagella. One is bigger and one other one is smaller, which arise from their respective basal granule, example euglena. Slime moles. Slime moles have the characters of both fungi and animals and due to the special characters, they are known as fungus animals. When these organisms reproduce vegetative, then they occur in the form of slime mass and known as slime mold. Slime molds are different colors due to the presence of the different pigments in them. They occur in moist, cool, damp places around the dead and decay large leaves. Hence, they are saprophytic protists. Sometimes, they occur in multinucleate amoeboid mass of protoplasm and known as plasmodium, which can extend up to the various heights. Slime molds can reproduce by different means fragmentation by formation of sporangia which reproduces pores which have the true cellulosic cell wall and dispersed air currents. Sexual reproduction which occur due to the fusion of gametes which can be of isogamous same types of gametes or n isogamous means different types of gametes. Protozoan they are unicellular microscopic colorless of the various shapes with the different symmetry bilateral, radial or irregular. They occur everywhere in the biosphere like they are aquatic, terrestrial or parasitic. Some parasitic forms are disease causing in animal and in humans. Body of protozoans are naked, their protoplasm is surrounded by a membrane called pellicle. Locomotion in protozoan is due to the presence of finger like pseudopodia, flagella or cilia. The forms which are parasitic do not possess locomotory organelles. Mode of nutrition in protozoans is holozoic. Mode of reproduction in protozoans is asexual and sexual method. Some methods of asexual reproduction is budding, multiple fission or by binary fission, while sexual reproduction is done by conjugation, fusion of gametes and syngamy. In some forms during the unfavorable environmental conditions, they form cysts which help in protection from desiccation. Example of protozoans are Giardia, Lishmania and Trypanosomes. So my dear learner, let us recapitulate the points that we have discussed. Two kingdom system of classification. This is the oldest system of classification which was given by Carolus Linnaeus in 1758. According to him, the living world was divided into two major categories or kingdoms. Animal kingdom which include all the animals, plant kingdom which include all the plants. Five kingdom system of classification. It was proposed by an American ecologist Robert H. Whittaker in 1969. Whittaker divided the living world into five kingdoms, Monera, Protista, Fungi, Animalia and Planti. Five kingdom system of classification was done on the following criteria. Structure of cells, prokaryotic organisms, eukaryotic organisms, organizations of cells, unicellular, multicellular, mode of nutrition, autotropic, it includes chemosynthetic and photosynthetic, heterotropic, it includes holozoic, ingestive, saprophytic, absorptive. Phylogenetic relationship from the study of the fossils, mode of reproduction, asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. So dear friends, in the next module we will discuss about fungi, plantae and animalia.